Sup everyone, this is Third Shift Millionaire. I just want to share something with you that um this was by pure accident that I discovered this. I'm selling on eBay, part-time eBay seller. Yeah, I'm another one of those coming out the woodworks. <laughs> Alright, so I got into helmet a couple of months ago. It was by pure mistake. I was at a goodwill and I walked by this helmet. It wasn't this one. It was a red one. It was a very old vintage red helmet. And I walked by it and something told me to stop. You know, like when you're walking, you had this little nudge, this little um instinct or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes I call it the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I just call it your spidey senses. That's, that goes off. So I picked up that helmet. It was going for ten dollars and um at the Goodwill, and I later on sold it for thirty dollars. It was going for fifty, but I I went for a best offer because it was taking a while to sell, and I just moved on it. But ever since then, I started picking up helmets, and I've been doing good with them. So these are more. This is a motorcycle helmet. I believe this is going for one hundred dollars or so, one twenty. I have, I believe I have this listed for 120. This goes around 100, 120 to $100. Um, when you're in a thrift store or a garage sale, I would say pick up the helmet. And like I said, this was just a fluke. This was just by a mistake. And I just listened my, to my instinct. And that's one thing I've been doing ever since I got into reselling was listening to my instinct. And it's been very beneficial to me, for me. One of the concerns I had was, how am I going to ship it? Because I was shipping clothes. I was shipping really small items. And I was concerned about how I was going to ship it. So after I listed the first helmet, when it sold, I was racking my brain to get a box to fit it in. And by the grace of God, I went to Home Depot with the helmet. I went to Home Depot with the helmet. And I was trying to find a box that would fit in exactly. And I did. And the box, I believe, cost only like 77 cents. Um, this is just something I want to share with you. And also to make, um, get tongue tied and also to jump in the whole making videos on YouTube thing and helping people out with what I found and stuff like that. See where this goes. This is just an attempt. Oh, also one thing I've learned, like one, that's one thing I love about doing eBay is the things that you come across, you, you end up having like a history lesson in these things. So when you get a helmet, there's always, the size is always inside. Sometimes you have to lift the flap, the little foam inside of it. I know you can't see it too quick right now, too good right now. But you could lift, lift the um the padding and you'll see the snail when it was made. And you see the road safety thing that they are usually attached to the helmet. That's one of the things that um, I found out. I actually... When I listed the first helmet or the second helmet, someone actually mentioned to me the exact helmet I had. I mi I mislisted it. I actually listed the wrong helmet. He told me exactly what it was and how much I should sell it for. That was the second one, not the first red one I bought. So I was very grateful that this fellow eBayer actually gave me some tips on how to sell helmet and where to look for the size and everything else underneath. And for that second helmet, I actually sold it a little bit more. I went back to the listing. I corrected what he mentioned. Of course, I did a Google search on it just to verify he wasn't just kind of, you know, mess, trying to mess up with my account. But he gave me some good tips on it, and I I followed through with it. I raised the price on that helmet, and I sold it pretty quickly afterwards because it was, after I put all the information he gave me, who the racers who wore that type of helmet, and it was just getting a lot of hits. So it's always good to check the underneath the pattern. And you you also get a lot of help along the ways. So this was a little, this was, this is just a video just to help you. When you go to a thrift store or a tax sale, don't pass up helmets. They, you can buy them for cheap between five to $10. I got this for $20. This was in a lot. Like I bought, I believe four or five helmets um, for, for one hundred dollars, which with a bunch of items together, um, this already paid for all the items I've sold already. This is the only only helmet I have left from the from the lot, but everything else I sold from that lot, I made my money back two times over. Um, so this one, 
it's still I just listed this not too long ago. But um don't pass up helmets. I know they may seem like how you gonna ship them. That's one thing that stopped me from buying it. At first I was curious. I'm like, how am I gonna ship it if it sell? Um but ever since then I started taking more risk on the items that I'm listing. So don't pass up helmets. They're easy. There's there is easy flip. I believe they're between hold on a second. Let me do this real quick. I have my trusty scale here. And I'm gonna show you that it doesn't cost too much to ship. I believe it costs me. I know the whole camera's all over the place. It cost me, I believe, six dollars to ship it. If I'm correct, I remember. Yeah, it's like three pounds. You could add it's four pounds. But I believe I did it for six pounds when I shipped it because of the box and the peanuts and everything else. So yeah. I'm putting the helmet away. I'm keeping the scale. And that's the showpiece right here. But yeah, this is Third Shift Millionaire just sharing a little bit of knowledge that I found throughout my whole eBay journey that I started back in October. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tape and remember to pick up the helmets when you see them. Don't pass them up. Look them up. Don't be intimidated by what by how you're going to ship it cuz one thing I've learned as an entrepreneur is that this is the best quote I've learned was entrepreneurs leap off the cliff and they learn how to fly on the way down. And ever since I got into this whole business, that's all I've been doing. I've been learning how to fly after I jump off the cliff. And it's pretty cool. So I learned about the helmets. I learned about so many other things throughout the whole journey. And I'm sure you also. All right. This is Third Shift Millionaire. Peace.